many smokers recognize that there's certain risks that they face by smoking. They understand that there's the risk of lung cancer. They understand heart disease. Uh, many understand they have other vascular issues. But some people don't understand, and many people, that there's risks of getting complications and actually dying from conditions that have nothing to do with smoking because you are a smoker. What I'm talking about here are the risks of post-operative complications. When people have to go in for surgeries, for diseases or injuries, or just things that happen with age where they need uh, replace, hip replacement or back surgeries. And there's always risks when people go in for surgery. The two major risks that people face, the two major most dangerous risks are getting pneumonia or blood clots after surgery. And those are things that smokers have much higher risks for than non-smokers. Many times uh, if a doctor uh, knows that this person needs a surgery and they're a smoker, they want them off smoking. They want them off a significant time period before they'll even do the surgery because of that risk. Also, there's conditions where it may not be life-threatening, but where the surgeries and the corrective uh, processes that are put in place aren't as effective, they don't work. This happens in some oral kind of surgeries that people need and some uh, plastic kind of surgeries. So those are also things that can be put off because you're a smoker. You face much more risk and much more complication by being a smoker. Quitting as long as you can beforehand is to your advantage. Then once you quit, if you ever have to face any other future surgery, you don't have to worry about it with the risks of being a smoker. As long as now you continue to stick to a personal commitment to never take another puff.